Whether you're a hardcore outdoorsman who needs a chopping tool that's tough enough to weather constant hard use, or you're an occasional adventurer that wants a survival contingency plan and something to help with, say, chopping up firewood, a well-built tactical tomahawk will serve you beautifully. As much respect as a quality tomahawk will earn you, they can also serve more practical, functional purposes beyond intimidation such as forcible entry, self-defense, military combat applications, and light to medium around the house demolition. While they're much larger and harder to carry than a fixed blade knife, most tactical tomahawks sport a rugged, nearly unbreakable steel body and feature several different tools built into the design, increasing its functionality and real-world application. But finding the best tomahawk can be a daunting task, since the market has exploded with options in recent years. To help you out, we've put together a list of the best tactical tomahawks that you can use for all your survivalist and self-defense needs. These are supplements to go with your tactical knives and a slightly more powerful tool than you'll get with Survival Blade. Plus, they are simply badass. Inspired by Viking axes of old, the Topsvi Axe has its own special characteristics that make it a tool unique unto itself. While Tops is very partial to 1095 steel for most of its blades, the company went with 1075 on this model to offer up more impact resistance. Because of the massive head relative to the handle, the VI Axe allows good momentum to be built up during the swing. To enhance that movement, Topps designers built a crook into the handle so that the blade face is always tilting slightly forward. This is similar in some ways to the forward biased balance of a Kukri. Weighing 39 ounces while being 0.31 inches thick, the VIX definitely impresses as a hefty and robust hawk that can stand up to a good bit of work. To assist the owner in getting the VIX to the work, Tops has provided a quality leather sheath with two retention straps. The loops are large enough to lash the sheath to a pack or other piece of gear, but for safety reasons the loops are not sized for carry on a belt. This is the Schrade SCX-4 Tomahawk, a versatile instrument useful in a range of applications including rescue, survival, tactical and everyday outdoor adventures. The SCX-4 Tomahawk delivers chopping, cutting and penetration power in a lightweight package. The SCX-4's axe head is cast from rugged 3CR13 stainless steel and is powder coated for increased durability. Chop, cut, and slice with a sharp 3.3 inch edge. Use a high grip on the handle shaft for controlled cutting. Slide your hand lower down the shaft for increased power. For maximum penetration, bring the hardened pointed spike into play. Low density polyethylene is molded around the axe head's tang, creating a nearly indestructible handle. Over three feet, a 550 spec paracord is wrapped around the lower end of the handle, establishing a positive gripping surface well suited for aggressively delivering rigorous chopping and penetration blows. For even greater safety, tether the SC Axe 4 to your wrist with the paracord. Protect the Tomahawk's blade by storing it in the black nylon belt sheath. The sheath's twin top snaps keep the hawk secure while providing quick and easy access. A 3-inch belt loop lets the SC Axe 4 hang comfortably at your side or lash to gear, ready for the moment you need it. A lightweight tomahawk weighing in at a mere one and three quarter pounds, crafted from premium materials and built for a lifetime. This is the Schrade SCX4 Tomahawk. 
Today at CRKT, we are taking a look at the Woods Chogan T-Hawk designed by Ryan Johnson of RMJ Tactical. We're also going to take a look at the twin brother, the Kanji T-Hawk. You can see the difference between them. The Kanji here in my right hand has a spike, whereas the Chogan has a hammer head. So the overall length on this is 19.1 inches. The weight is just over two pounds, two pounds, one ounce, and I think the kanji is just a little lighter, one pound, 15 ounces. It has Tennessee hickory handles on it, and these are tapered. The way it works is it's thinner on this side than on this side. We pop that head down the one end and uh, press fit it. The nice thing about that is if the handle breaks, you can get your own replacement handle and just slip it right on there. That's a, an ancient T-Hawk and axe head technique. It's got a hammer finish there on the head. You've got that nice beard. These things chop really, really well. You've got a hammer head on there for pounding in tent stakes, pounding in nails, whatever you need to do with it. These are beautiful, beautiful pieces. And uh, let me just show you the kanji real quick, show you that blade style next to each other. The uh, Chogun has a little bit more of a bevel in that beard area. They're pretty much the same thing except for that spike on the back. And that's gonna be nice for splitting wood, breaking things up, that sort of thing. I wanted to mention as well, you've got two different handle colors. Both of them are Tennessee Hickory, but as these are natural materials, you're gonna be looking at your own unique handle color. United Cutlery is proud to release this brand new M48 Camp Hawk Axe Thanks to this innovative concept, you can enjoy all the qualities of United Cutlery's best-selling M48 Tactical Tomahawk on a slightly scaled-down size. It still provides almost all of the functionality of its larger counterpart in a versatile, compact size. The 2CR13 stainless steel axe head is perfect for light chopping duty, while the back spike is ideal for breaching and prying. The five and a half inch axe head is attached to the reinforced handle with three separate bolts that hold it securely in place and provide a sturdy, hefty feel in the hand. It is well balanced for throwing, yet small enough to easily fit in your backpack with all your other camping gear. Or choose to wear it on your belt loop with the included M48 nylon blade sheet. Okay guys, Bone Tactical Tomahawk, the Bone Hawk, the one and only, the most effective combat tomahawk ever designed or produced. Quick overview guys, I'm going to show you really up close, okay? Most of them now ship with these, I get so many requests for these. Buckles on here, they were originally designed for US Special Forces to be jumpable. They said, Greg, I need to be able to jump out of a plane with this. In order to jump out of a plane with this, it's got to have a secondary retention. No matter how good your retention is, it's got to have a buckle. So we put the buckle on there. A lot of civilians like the buckle, so now we put the buckle on most of them. It's not gonna fall out of the sheath by itself. It doesn't need the buckle, but it's just, we, we overbuild everything. It's overbuilt, okay guys? These attachments on the sheath here, these holes can be used with any kind of an attachment. Any attachment method that you wanna use, you can use because of these holes, okay? They're three quarter inch on center and they're everywhere. You can use zip ties, you can use any kind of molly attachment method. You can put belt loops on here and hang it from your belt. You can put it on a shoulder holster. Guys, you can do anything with these, with these uh, holes in here. They're standard quarter inch holes, okay? In order to get it out, you just grab right here, pull it out, okay? In order to get it back in, I, I recommend putting the tail in first and then sliding the rest of it in, okay? And then it's, it's in and it's not coming out until you really pull on it, okay? Very well designed sheath. Obviously, it's a bone tactical product. It's gonna be well designed. I can show you guys, this is the strongest tomahawk on the market. It's 5 16 inch steel, guys. Everybody else is making their, their tomahawks out of, first of all, they're not even using good steel, a lot of them. Second of all, they're not using good heat treat, a lot of them. And third, they're only using quarter inch steel, a lot of these guys. So this is just blows away the competition, all right? There's no competition on the tomahawk market. We originally designed these for US Special Forces. As you can see on the website, they're in use overseas in the fight against ISIS, the first tomahawks produced, and we built them for those guys because they needed a better tomahawk. There, nothing existed on the market. Since then, we have come out with about four new generations. This is a Gen 4. It's just, as you can see, an unbelievable tomahawk. 